Good morning everybody, welcome to Totally Beads 12 Days of Christmas. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful glittery orb earrings using miracle beads and little square connectors. They're really simple to do and they look lovely particularly over the party season so I hope you enjoy making them and I hope you enjoy wearing them too. During today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make these lovely little orb earrings. Now the orbs on these are very colourful and very glittery and we also have the matching miracle beads in there for you so you can colour match them if you wish or you can mix them up so you can make multicoloured ones too. You're going to get everything you need in your kit from your earring hooks to the little square connectors to your head pins as well and as I say, there's a variety of different colours that you can make, so you've got one for every day of the week. The tools that you'll be needing today will be some wire cutters, some round nose pliers, and some needle nose or flat nose pliers as well. So to begin, I'm going to take one of the little eye pins, and I'm just going to have a little look to see the size of the loop. Now, I would like to make my loop around the same size on both ends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my pliers in that little round loop at the top and I'm just gonna see at what point on my pliers that comes to. Now I'm gonna do this by eye, but if you want to make it absolutely perfect, you can make a little mark on your pliers with a pen and you can see each time you make them at the other end, we're about to pop them into your pliers. So I'm going to choose what colour orb I'm going to use. I'm going to use the lovely blue glittery one for this one. And I'm going to match that with one of the miracle beads. So I'm going to take my square connector and you'll see the miracle bead fits perfectly in between this little hole. And there's two holes on either side, which means when I place in my eye pin, just need to pop it in a tiny little bit through one of those holes and then I can line up the hole on my miracle bead and pop that through so it runs through the top of the miracle bead and out the other side of the connector. Now I'm just going to line it up so I'm going to turn my eye pin so it's facing upwards and with my pliers I'm going to pop a 90 degree bend in the top of my eye pin and this means that when I start to turn my loop it should sit nicely on top. So I'm just going to trim a little bit of the excess off, not too much but I'm going to leave around about a centimetre. So I'm going to pop my cutters in on the flat side where I want it to cut and I'm going to hold on to this little bit and this little end sticking up so it doesn't ping away and then with my pliers with my round nose I'm going to pop it in at the point where it is going to be around the same size as the loop on the bottom and I'm going to make sure that's nice and flush so there's none of the eye pins sticking up out the top and I'm going to just give that a little turn and then by just rotating my wrist in little motions, I'm going to start to turn that loop all the way around until it closes. Make sure that's closed all the way in. And if I need to, I'm going to take my pliers and just give it a little twist to make sure they're both sitting in the same direction. So I'm just going to close that up a little bit more. I'm going to push it up with my thumb just to make sure I've got that space to close that all the way round. Now using the loop, I'm going to just lift it slightly upwards. I'm not bending it out because I don't want to distort that shape and I don't want to weaken that loop. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit so I can thread on 
my little glittery orb. And then with my pliers, I'm going to turn it back down to close that up. Now I'm going to take one of my earring hooks and I'm going to open it up the same, just like I would with a jump ring. Lifting it up either towards me or away from me and thread that on to my now double connector, which is my eye pin and close that over. And you'll see in a matter of minutes, I have a very lovely, sweet little earring and I can now make its matching pair. So I'm going to take one of my eye pins again and one of my square connectors. I'm just going to position it a little bit in to the first hole. I'm then going to take my matching miracle bead. I'm going to find the hole in the bottom of the bead and line that up so it runs right through the bead and comes out the other side of the connector. Then again, I'm going to give it a bend to a 90 degree angle. I'm going to trim off a little bit of the end, leaving around a centimetre. If you want to, you can keep the end that you cut off and you can line that up against your next one to make sure they're exactly the same length. And then with my round nose pliers, I'm going to start to give that a little turn and twist that all the way around to make sure that loop is nice and closed. And again, with my pliers, I'm going to hold them on both ends of those loops and give it a little twist just to make sure that they're running in the same direction. I'm going to double check that that loop is nice and closed. So we've got that perfect little loop on the top. And then open up with my pliers. Pop on my orb and give that a close back over. And then all I need to do is add my earring hook. You don't have to worry about which way round you're putting these on. And there you go. My first pair of lovely glittery little orb earrings. These remind me of little baubles. I think they're perfect for the party season. And you don't have to have your orbs and your miracle beads matching. If you like, you can mix them up. So you've got different colors. I think I'm gonna do that this time, but it works exactly the same. So I'm taking my eye pin and my square connector. I'm going to choose which miracle bead I'd like to use and thread that through. I'm going to hold my eye pin and my connector between my thumb and my fingers to keep that in place. As I give it a little turn to put a bend into that eye pin Snip off a little bit of that excess. And with my round nose pliers, making sure it's flush to the end, I'm going to start giving that a little turn and bend that all the way round in little movements to make sure that's perfectly closed and a lovely little loop. I'm going to straighten them up. This one's pretty straight, I think, already. But I'm just going to pop my pliers on both ends. Make sure that the 
this sitting in the same direction. And then I'm going to open up one of my loops. This time I'm going to attach a different coloured pretty little orb onto the bottom. Close that over and then attach my earring hook. So you can make many of these lovely different coloured earrings in absolute minutes. The silk orbs are so glittery and so pretty and the miracle bead has a lovely shimmer to it so that will catch the light. So to make the matching pair, take your eye pin, pop it into the first hole of your connector, select the miracle bead that you would like to use and thread that all the way through. Give it a little bend. Trim off the end and with your round nose pliers just start to turn that up and turn it all the way so you've got a nice closed loop. Check that they sit in the same direction as each other. and then open them up to attach your silk glittery orb. And what color am I using this time? I'm gonna use the pink one to match. Closing that back over. Just make sure it's fully closed. And then open up my ear wire. And close that over. So that's how straightforward and simple and quick these are to make. But I think you'll agree, they look very, very festive and very pretty. You've got an array of different colours from blues to very festive party red colours. I think they look particularly Christmassy. You've also got some lovely black ones, some silvers, the pinks and the golds. So I hope you have fun making them and I hope you enjoy wearing them to all your Christmas parties. So thank you for being with me today. I hope you've had a lovely morning. I hope you've enjoyed watching how to make these lovely little earrings and I hope you all have a very, very lovely festive season with your loved ones, with your friends. Um, stay safe and happy Christmas.